Introducing the all new Corolla. It's disappointing that uh, right now we're in the turmoil of getting contracts negotiation and to fracture the union and divide the numbers is, 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 is sad. Guam Federation of Teachers Union President Tim Fedenko is reacting to a petition filed with the Department of Administration by attorney Daniel Summerfleck yesterday asking that a new union be given exclusive recognition for the teachers and support staff at Agania Heights Elementary School. Guam Union of Professional Public Employees, or GUPI, already has the support of 93 percent of the employees at Agania Heights, according to Summerflex petition. That includes 31 GUPI member teachers, two GUPI non-member teachers, and nine GUPI member support staff. But Fedenko points out that seven dues-paying members of GFT didn't sign the petition. And he doesn't seem to feel threatened that GFT will be decertified because of it. The, the process is to get 50% of your membership plus one to pass cards to decertify the union, right? Or you dip, dip below 10%. They've tried that already too, saying we didn't have the numbers and we do. We have 38%. So there's to decertify a GFT, I think is a not going to happen. And while GFT has been unsuccessful in getting the Department of Education to negotiate a new contract, Fedenko doesn't think it will be any easier for a new union. How will their contract go? They'll start from zero. They cannot, they're going to have a blank slate and then they're going to bargain. And then how fast will that go through, especially since we've been waiting for three years already? Will they wait three years also? Will ours become first or will theirs become first? Then we have some real serious allegations. Yet the employees at Agania Heights Elementary School who formed Guppy say they are disappointed with the representation from GFT and they've already been successful in grievances cases filed without the union's representation. Fedenko, however, says fracturing the union is not the solution to disappointment. You know, there's a process to get involved. Any member can become involved, run for office, which Carol did and to divide and separate and form their own branch at this time is, is, is disappointing. BNC contacted Department of Administration Director Benita Manglonia today to hear her response to the letter, but she hadn't returned our calls as of news time. Attorney Summerfleck was not available for an on-camera interview. Betsy Brown, PNC News.